two two were all like, okay, what did Coda do to him? Are you implying they had a relationship? Beats me. Mikashiba Sensei did anything like that, he would have gotten canned on the spot. Yeah, people like to gossip, but as they say, where there's smoke, there's fire. <laughs> Maybe Koda-san's the reason he was always so fired up. <laughs> Maybe she's the reason he got fired. <laughs> so the writing on her hand, it wasn't some random insult. Um, are we about done here? Last thing, where are Koda-san and the others? Are they often this late? No. Everyone's usually here by now. Uh, maybe they're still in their classroom? Okay, then I think that about does it. Back to work for the both of us, huh? Spacing out on me? Look at me when I'm talking. You can't face us because you're weak. Who gave you permission to quit anyway? Newsflash, you're nothing without the club. Yeah, think about us for a second. Who has to pick up all the grunt work when you're gone? Maybe she feels special after what happened at lunch. Like people suddenly give a shit about her. Doesn't give you the right to ditch practice. Talk about selfish, am I right? Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Is that all you know how to say? You think we're letting a stuck-up bitch like you give the orders? You guys still haven't learned to play fair? This fucking guy... Why's your dirty old ass still here? Attention students! Be on the lookout for a creeper showing up in your classrooms! If I were you... I'd watch my mouth around a club advisor. Say what? I'm Yagami, from the Yagami Detective Agency. And your chairman just hired me to advise the Mystery Research Club. Bullshit. I guess word hasn't gotten around? Maybe I'll let a few wisecracks slide for now then. But mark my words, I'll be here every day of the week. So be on your best behavior. <sighs> Uh, we better get to practice. Yeah, you do that. Oh, and, uh, break a leg out there. Matsu. Not very nice, are they? Are you alright? I'm fine. Kora-san. I'm sorry to spring this on you, but as I said, I'm a detective, and I need to talk about Hiro Mikoshiba. <sighs> he started training as a teacher here pretty recently, right? And one day he just stopped showing up? At the time, did you notice anything strange about him? Maybe he seemed troubled, or you saw him hanging around strangers? Why... Why are you asking me? The basketball club members think you and Mikoshiba might have been close. At least at practice. They said that? Well, I suppose there wasn't much truth to what I'd heard then. Don't sweat it. Just so you know, I'm actually going to be hanging around here at the school for a little while longer. If it's cool, I hope we can find a way to be friends. See ya. Wait a sec. 
Earlier today, it was your voice that I heard, wasn't it? I just never expected anyone to actually stand up for me in school. But you could say I didn't really stand up to them for myself much either. We all just treated it like it was a normal thing. Sometimes people would even laugh about it. But then, today, you guys something changed. Leave her alone. Everyone suddenly decided to take a stand like they'd seen enough. I couldn't believe it. But that first voice, the one that told them to stop... That was your voice, wasn't it, Yagami-san? <laughs> Who could say? I knew it! It was you. Thank you so much for that. Today was... eye-opening. I never realized... I never thought about how horribly I was being treated until everyone stood up for me. What's more, it made me see that I was strong. In fact, I finally stood up to the basketball kids. So you did? Is that what made you decide to quit the club? Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to play basketball in a real team. I used to read this manga that made it look so cool. In a comic, even if you're a terrible player, the team always tries to lift you up. I tried. I wanted it to work, even if all they did was tear me down. But today... I just up and quit. That's not cool at all.